Okay, so we got a new Hua vacuum here. This is the iLife B5 Max. This is a smaller Hua vacuum I typically test on this channel. I believe the dimensions are 315 by 300 by 76 millimeters. This little guy sits at 2.99 inches tall, so it can go to most low hanging furniture like bed frames, coffee tables, and this guy also houses a 600 meter dustbin. It's pretty large for its size, and if you find that's not enough, you can also use a 1 liter disposable bag. Yep, you heard me. So you can remove the 600 milliliter dustbin and install a disposable bag. And this bag is 1 liter. As you can see, you also have a physical power switch on the robot. So you can turn off the robot when it's not in use. So, I found that installing this bag does take a little practice. You do have to line up the tabs. But once you get the hang of it, it's pretty easy to install. Hopefully down the road, more robot vacuums will have this ability where you can either do disposable bags or you can use dustbins. I kind of like they give you both options. You also have electronic control mopping, but take a look at this water tank. It's fairly small, I believe it's like 50 milliliters, so it's only designed to cover very, very small areas. Maybe like a powder room or something. I did run out of water when doing my kitchen area. Well, it seems like everything these days have a smartphone application, and the B5 Max is no exception. So go ahead and launch up the application and press start. Well, you can see the live mapping there. So once we go to the settings here, you notice you can actually change the different water levels. Now keep in mind that the water reservoir is super small, around like 50 milliliters. So it's really designed for like the small powder room. But here's something very interesting. Well, this is one of the few Roar vacuums I've tested that actually has a slider to control the vacuum levels. Unlike other Roar vacuums where they give you two to four different set levels, you actually can control the slider from one to a hundred. So, this Roar vacuum does have gyro navigation, so you do get that systematic cleaning pattern. It's not as good as like a lot of base Roar vacuum or a counter based system, but I felt it was good enough for the smaller areas. So I found that the B5 Max does okay around furniture. I do like their smaller size so it can reach smaller, tighter areas. But the downside is since it uses gyro-based navigation, it sometimes gets lost if it's in a more complex environment. So that's just something to consider. If you have a lot of obstacles furniture, I do recommend like a counter-based roll vacuum or even like a lot of base roll vacuum. So this is more of a basic roll of vacuum, but you do have the live mapping capabilities. So you can see where the roll of vacuum's been and where it needs to clean. Unfortunately, it creates a new map each time. It doesn't actually save the map. So there's no keep out zones. There's no room select or air select on this model. I always like these handheld remotes. You can do the sketching on here. You can change the power levels. You also can do spot clean. You can do edge clean. Now, this particular model has just a section only port. There's no spinning extractor bar. So that's kind of a big downside. And the website does say it can use carpeting, hardwood floors, tiles. But I really think for the carpeting side, you really have to be on low profile carpet. Maybe like an area rug. But for thicker profile carpet, I don't think a section only port will do very well. So keep in mind that... Just on normal max mode, it's 1500 pascals. On a spot clean function, it's 2000 pascals. Okay, let's see how well the B5 Max does with various obstacles. So I do have some shoestrings out there, and you can see that the little vacuum just kind of pushes it out of the way. So I do recommend picking up the shoestrings, the power cables, or any like loose cables because these little vacuums tend to suck them up or get wrapped around. Now for larger objects, uh, the roll vacuum does fine, just kind of bumps into it and just kind of goes around it. So a roll vacuum in this price point, I believe this guy's $149 with all the coupons, which I'll link down below. I think this is what to expect. 
does have infrared sensors up front and a physical bump sensor. So what it does is it physically bumps into the object to go around it. Doesn't really cause any damage, but that's just something to note. If you're looking for a world vacuum that completely avoids obstacles, well, you might want one with a front-facing camera or a 3D sensor. Let's have a quick look at the application here. It's called iLife Home. You can either search it or you can just take the QR code and instruction manual and scan it with your smartphone. Now, with the little plus icon, you can add additional iLife products. You can see they have mopping robots, they have vacuum cleaners, so there's a lot of different types of products. Now, once we select the robot vacuum, we do have this blank screen. Once the robot vacuum is actually cleaning, you'll see a cleaning area, you see the cleaning time, the battery indicator, and also a live map as the robot vacuum goes out and clean. Now, towards the bottom, you have the recharge icon, the start icon, and also remote control application. This is actually fairly well featured. You can control the robot vacuum. Also, you can enable edge, spot, and do scheduling. Now, keep in mind, all these functions are on a dedicated handheld remote, which is provided, so you don't necessarily need to open up the application if you want to access these features. All right, so in the top right corner, it's the little settings menu, and you do have a couple additional settings. For example, cleaning history will tell you the last cleaning jobs and how long it took and the map of your floor plan. Also, you do have the part maintenance. So for example, after a while, you do have to replace the side brushes or the filter. It will let you know when to do that. Okay, so one interesting thing is you do have this slider for suction control. So it's interesting, you can do it 71%, you can go down to 16% or even 1%. So yes, you can finally control like how strong of a suction you want, which is kind of interesting. And once you're done, just click save and it will set that standard. Okay, you do have S cleaning and auto and you can search for the robot, which makes it beep. So if you will have vacuum plates, hide and seek, and also you can reset the robot. So that was just a quick overview of the application. It's pretty simple, but it works pretty well. All right, let's go ahead and give you my final thoughts, the pros and cons. So basically, this row of vacuum is really designed for the smaller area, like a one-bedroom apartment that has barely hardwood floors. Since it only has a suction-only port, that's probably one of the biggest downsides. I really think row of vacuum should have a spinning extractor bar. As you notice, I did struggle with the dustbin. I think some dirt and debris got lost in like the rubber gasket, so it kind of prevented it from opening up fully. But now it seems to be working. I do appreciate iLife's innovation where they added a disposable bag to the model. Hopefully down the road more well, vacuums will have this option because it's kind of important. Some users may not want to deal with the dust having to empty out a dustbin and wash it out. Alright, so have a great rest of your day and thanks again for watching. You guys be safe out there. I'll see you guys next time. Adios.